Hey guys, welcome back to the next video of this entire series where we are talking about SharePoint Online. In the last video, we talked about check out and check in feature in SharePoint Online. In this particular video, we will be talking about SharePoint Online Recycle Bin. We will understand how Recycle Bin works in SharePoint Online. We will talk about the Recycle Bin stages. We will talk about the Recycle Bin retention period. We will talk about the recycle bin permissions. I will practically demonstrate you how to access recycle bin in a team site and a communication site and how to create a rule in SharePoint online to get notified when a file is deleted from the site. Recycle bin is a storage space that stores the deleted items. It allows the users to restore the documents if required. SharePoint online recycle bin stores the deleted files documents, folders, list, and even complete site. Every SharePoint site has a recycle bin, be it a team site or a communication site. SharePoint online recycle bin has two stages. First stage recycle bin, which is also called as site recycle bin, and second stage recycle bin, which is also called as site collection recycle bin. When you delete a document from a SharePoint site, that document goes to first stage recycle bin and it stays there for 93 days. Now, if you delete that document from first stage recycle bin, the document will move to the second stage recycle bin and the document will stay here for the remaining days. For example, let's assume we deleted a document from document library. That document will go to the first stage recycle bin and here, that document will be retained for 93 days. Now let's say after 20 days, we deleted this document from first stage recycle bin. Now this document will move to the second stage recycle bin and here this document will be retained for 73 days. And after 73 days, the document will be permanently deleted. So in SharePoint online, when you delete anything from the site, that item is retained for 93 days. If a document is retained in first stage recycle bin for 93 days and you do not recover it, this will be purged. The document will not move to the second stage recycle bin. The total duration for both first stage and the second stage recycle bin is 93 days. Moreover, SharePoint Online retains the backup of all the content for 14 additional days beyond the actual deletion date. That means after 93 days, if the content can't be restored from the recycle bin and you do not have a retention policy applied to the SharePoint sites or you do not have a third party backup or M365 backup solution, an administrator can contact Microsoft support to request a restore inside the 14 days window. But if we talk about the on-premises SharePoint server, the items are retained for 30 days. This is the default value, but the administrators can increase it. Now, what type of data is stored in Recycle Bin? It stores the document that you delete from the document library. It stores the folders that you delete from the document library. If you delete the SharePoint calendar events, those are also retained in Recycle Bin. If you delete site pages, or if you delete the complete document library, this will also be retained in Recycle Bin. If you delete list from SharePoint site and the files and folders that you delete from the synchronized OneDrive account, these items are also retained in SharePoint Online Recycle Bin. The synchronized OneDrive is, in SharePoint Online, you can sync a SharePoint site document library with your OneDrive client. So if you delete a document library file that is syncing with your OneDrive account, these files and folders are also retained in Recycle Bin. Now let's understand what level of permissions are required to restore the content from Recycle Bin. The site members who have added permission level, they can restore the documents from the first stage Recycle Bin. The site members can restore the content those are deleted by the users as well as those are deleted by the other site members. But site members can't recover the items from the second stage recycle bin. 
the site owners who have full access permission level or the site collection administrators can restore the content from first stage recycle bin as well as from the second stage recycle bin and if we talk about the site visitors they have read only permission they can see the recycle bin but they can't access it or they can't access the content of recycle bin but there is an exception to the document libraries and the document list document libraries and the document list can be restored either by the site owners or by the users who actually deleted the list or the library now there is no specific setting to modify the permission levels for the recycle bin recycle bin do not have any sort of permission levels the permissions for the recycle bin are linked to the permissions of the documents site or the items that means if you want to modify the permission level on the recycle bin you need to modify the permissions on the site or the document so let's move to the sharepoint online and let's see how to manage the recycle bin in sharepoint sites in a team site the recycle bin is located on the left menu this is the first stage recycle bin and if you want to access the second stage recycle bin scroll it down and here you will see second stage recycle bin but if we go to a communication site we do not see recycle bin on the quick launch menu to find the recycle bin for a communication site you will click settings and click site content and at the top right you will see recycle bin this is first stage recycle bin and if you want to locate the second stage recycle bin scroll it down and at the bottom you will see second stage recycle bin let's go to documents in communication site and let's delete a file let's go back to recycle bin site contents and here we can see we have one file within the recycle bin let's open it so the file that we deleted from the documents library is now moved to recycle bin which is the first stage recycle bin now this file will be retained here for 93 days but if i delete this file now this will go to the second stage recycle bin let's delete it and let's go to second stage recycle bin and we can see the file here now this file will be retained here for 93 days and if i do not recover this file after 93 days this file will be deleted permanently but let's say you have a retention policy applied on the tenant where you have defined that do not delete sharepoint sites and its data for one year then this file will be retained for one year if you want to delete a file permanently you will right click the file and click delete this file will be deleted permanently and you will not be able to recover it and if you want to delete all the files from the recycle bin you can click empty recycle bin this will delete all the files from the second stage recycle bin now let's see how to create a rule in sharepoint online to get notified when a document is deleted from document library you can create this rule in both team site and a communication site the process is same for both in communication site go to document library and click three dots click automate rules and create a rule and here we will select a file is deleted and so it says when a file is deleted when this rule will trigger it will send an email to and here we will add a user to whom we want to send the notification if you want you can add multiple email addresses here and click create and this rule is enabled so let's delete a file right click delete click delete and now let's go to the mailbox for this user concepts user and here we can see we have received a notification concepts user deleted an item so that is all for today if you learned something new from this particular video 
please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you have questions or suggestions feel free to write them in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video